and host of her own cable show called Willie's Web. Boston Neighborhood Network, B and N. She sees it as a great opportunity to promote her books and as well as promoting other authors and artists to share their journey. She combined her talent with three other women and created a professional published author group called Authors Without Voices. They also have a cable show in which Miss Pleasant is one of the producers, directors, and hosts. She works with the group AWB.com to offer workshops, speaking engagements, and panel discussions to help other writers navigate the maze of writing and publishing. They also have a book called Loose Ends. She has done extra work in major films like Fever Pitch, The Proposal, and Here Comes the Boom. She created and facilitates a class called Storytelling at Houston, which is offered as a course for the Harshman Lifetime Institute at the University of Massachusetts in Washington. Some of her short stories have been published in Boston Scenery Magazine. Her latest project was at the Roxbury International Dance Center, called Keepsake. At this time, we want to welcome Mrs. Willie Fletcher, our speaker of now. Walking back to the time when we were talking free in the motherland 
across the street. Then came the slave ship that enslaved our reality, that destroyed our identity, branded us as cattle, denied our freedom, bought the soul of that power. A life didn't win. After 400 years with a stroke of faith of the past, we were free. Emancipated by a proclamation signed by President Lincoln. President Lincoln. Free. Free. Written on paper, but never in the hearts and the minds of those who had held us in captivity. Great leaders like Martha God, Mega Hessen. These were civil rights trade trailblazers trying to rewrite America's wrong. They have been coming on. Someone say how long? I say too long. While we were waiting for a leader and for America to welcome us with open arms, the Jim Crow law in the South was mandating racial segregation, separate the white people. Laws that led that led to discrimination in education, discrimination economics. Discrimination in social justice. And I remember those colored only signs that my mom was back. Those colored only signs that over half of how over three film families. Libraries that we could not go into. This world that discriminatory practice in housing, bank lending, jobs, and even military service where our lands were fighting. These things happen in my lifetime, and some of these practices still exist today. Somebody say, how long? I say, too long. There are good marshals are all arguing before the U.S. Supreme Court and Brown for Board of Education and Segregation. When he had won, he expected immediate change, but you know the justice system. We were told progress is good. I say it's been too long. In 1950, people had it now. Claudette Colvin and Rosa Park refused to give up their seats and said, Move to the back of the bus, right here in Montgomery, Alabama. There is been countless other leaders. Fighting for our civil rights that stepped up to the plate. They paid the ultimate price. We are standing at the perfect gate. But there was one that stood out for his nonviolent approach. Dr. Martin Luther King was his name. 35 years of his life contributed to so his name. Dr. King said, Yeah, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. That means control down his memory lane. In 1950, 16 houses were lost. 16 churches were at the same time. In 1956, he had traveled 780,000 miles, made 208 speeches for freedom. In 1958, published his book, Strive Toward Freedom. He got stabbed, almost stabbed. In 1962, he met with President Kennedy to urge him to support the civil rights law. In 1963, March on Washington with over 250 people. And that's when he made his famous speech, I have a dream. In 1964, he had won the Nobel Peace Prize. And in that same year, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 had died. And they overruled the Jim Crow law. In 1965, Dr. Martin Luther King led the fight for voting rights, the law. And that same year, they marched successfully down the So much has been accomplished in Dr. Martin Luther King's 35 years of life. Sadly, in 1958, Dr. Martin Luther King had been shot dead in a motel in Memphis, still fighting for nine lives. 
1986, it took 20 years of fight to get his birthday to be a national holiday. I say, too long. With the passing of the Civil Rights Bill, the overturning of the Jim Crow Law, the Voting Rights Bill, the victory of Brown versus the Board of Education. I say, why? In 19,014, we are still demonstrating and marching for people well, like Trayvon Martin, for Michael Brennan, Eric Clark. The, the justice system has failed them because of the color of their skin. Someone say, oh, I say, too long. Dr. Clark, Dr. Martin Luther King made a statement and said, we can never be free until every man and woman is judged by the content of the calendar and not by the color of their skin. Yes, we have made great strides, but we must be vigilant because justice requires everyone to have. No leader can do it alone. We cannot sleep on the job. We have to continue to stop the clean right this is why we're here. And in closing, I wrote a poem that I'll close with. I wrote a poem, and it was doing um, when the president, uh, President Obama, got blessed. Jeff, so human. It's a celebration for the king, Martin Luther King Day. He was a man of dignity, health, and finesse, which made us take note of people. His writing had wisdom and insight. But then it comes to the light. His speeches inspired a world of change. Well, no, no, that didn't have a shame. His selfless acts opened his life to a new, protecting human rights for women and black. Just so you know, it was the wickedness that took him away. But his dreams are here to stay. They can never be driven astray. With the grace of God, we were given another to take its place. A man born of both races. Just so you know, Barack Obama is his name. A name that brought no shame to a world that needed change. A true band with the king's dreams and tactics. Obama was the one he selected. And with black and white votes, he was selected. His goals are the same as king to get fall. To the full and keep jobs on their shoulders. Yes, we did. We knew we could. But remember, it was Martin Luther King who said we would. Jack, so you know.